Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, listen. You know, I was talking earlier in the week, I said, you know, the government right now is shutting down everything and trying to make sure people are safe. Now, they are doing that out of concern. They are doing that because that is what they know. But you see, at times like this, the church is supposed to rise up with the solution. Why? Because, you see, this is the darkness that Isaiah spoke about. But then he said, the Lord shall arise upon you. So the Lord will arise upon the church. Now, who's the church? You who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's not just talking about the, a, a special group of people gathering in one particular place. No, he's talking to you. You who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one upon whom the Lord will arise and when he arises upon you what is he rising with he's rising with solution he's rising with the answer praise god see so listen we are obedient children that's who god have made us to be see now i, I was telling you earlier you know if, if the government said don't hold meetings but the lord commands you to hold meetings who would you obey you obey the lord why? Because you are not being disobedient. You are obeying the Lord. Now, if the Lord have not spoken to you and the government said don't hold meetings, then you better don't hold meetings because you are supposed to obey the government. But if the Lord says hold meeting, then you are obeying the, a higher authority who himself will take care of the local authority. Are you getting what I'm saying? You now, I remember several years ago, you know, back in school then, you know, we, we, we got this secular saying that, look, no, um, nobody should hold Christian fellowship on campus, you know, using the, the campus theaters and hall. Now, they had their good reasons for saying that, see, whatever it was. They had their good reasons for saying that. So the school authority did that, you know. But we went before the Lord and said, Lord, what do we do? And the Lord spoke to me and said, listen. I have given you the keys of every hall in this school. Praise God. And, and he commanded us to continue our meetings. Now, we continued our meetings. It got to a point where the only ones holding meetings on campus. Every other person had moved off campus. But you know what happened throughout this period? The Lord himself protected and shielded us from trouble. We, we never got into problem with the school authority. Now, does that mean that they didn't know we're holding meetings? Oh, several times they, they sent security men to come stop our meetings. But, you know, I remember one day, and I was preaching that day, and these men were outside and trying to, our ushers were trying to, you know, stop them, at least, you know, battle with them while um, the service was going on. But it got to a point that they were causing distraction at the door because they wanted to come in and disrupt stopped our meeting. And I began to, I was preaching that day, and I began to ask the Lord, Lord, what do I do? And I heard the Lord say to me, tell the ushers to let them come in. Tell the ushers to leave the door. Because the people I was preaching to, they were not listening to me anymore. They, their, their concern was at that door. Are these people going to come in? What's going to happen? And then the Lord, I heard the Lord say, tell the ushers to leave that door. And I simply obeyed the Lord. I said, look, ushers, get out from that door. If they want to come in, let them come in. And I continued preaching. And these security men stood at the door looking at us. They couldn't step one inch into the hall. They stood there until they decided to turn back and they left. Praise God. Now, what happened? The one who we were obeying took care of the situation. But you see, you can start out with God and in the middle of it, you lose faith in God. Now, it, that's what happened to Peter. See, when you are walking with the Lord, you walk with him completely. You don't, you don't, you don't start with the Lord and someone say, hey, hey, what if God fails now? That's doubting. You know, when, when, when Jesus told Peter to walk on the water, I know Peter saw Jesus walking on the water. He said, Lord, if you're the one, ask me to come on the water. And Jesus said, come. And the Bible said Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water. Now, now, if you're watching, if you, are, if you were there, 
watching this whole thing happen. And then you see Peter step out of the boat because Jesus had come. And then you, you see Peter walking on the water to Jesus. And then suddenly you see Peter begin to sink. And then he cried, Lord, save me. And Jesus saved him. You, you may just wonder and say, what happened to Peter? Is it, is it that the, 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 this, this supernatural power couldn't hold him till the end? But hey, when Jesus grabbed him, what did Jesus say? Why did you doubt? Notice, you started well, but in the midst of it, he doubted and he began to sink. Now, this has happened to lots of believers. They start out in faith, but in the middle of it, now, what made Peter doubt? He saw the wind boisterous. He saw the waves coming. But he was already walking on the water, which in itself was a miracle. Now, what, what should Peter have done? He should have, you know, when he saw that storm coming, when he saw the wind, you know, and, and, and the waves coming, he should have begun to praise the Lord. Praise God. He should have begun to say, thank you, Jesus. Wow, what a miracle. I'm walking on the water. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this command. He would have walked all the way to Jesus. But he let the thought of his heart open up doubt in him and that's what happens to a lot of people you started out walking in the miraculous but somewhere along the line you begin to doubt maybe maybe last year god paid your rent miraculously i mean you 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 said lord i don't want to owe the landlord and miraculously the day you were supposed to pay money showed up and you paid and you began to praise the Lord, say, wow, you've shared that testimony. But hey, the rent is about to be due right now. You're thinking, hey, um, God, I, I don't know, please. Hey, where, where, where do I run to? Why are you doubting now? You think he did that and then he decided to abandon you now? You may start out in faith like, oh, I'm the heel of God. Nothing will happen to me. And, and suddenly you begin to feel feverish. You begin to, you know, sneeze and say, hey, God, oh. Ah, has this coronavirus gotten a hold of me? Why are you doubting now? Get out from that place of doubt. What the Lord has said to you, hold on to it and believe it and keep praising the name of the Lord. Don't let doubt and fear get into your heart. Praise God. I've got to stop here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.